everybody, it's an original artist here, and today I'm going to do a simple how to make a seed tutorial and how to survive in the current um, 2022 update with how food values are and the first starting tools you should make, in my opinion, to make your own seed if you are a newer player and you don't understand how food works all that well yet. So. You should have already completed the tutorial up in the top here, and you should know your username, your key, you should have all that filled out and are ready, ready to go. I'm in the vanilla client and I am unmodded, however, it is by my, per my suggestion, that you go to settings, and here enable FOV keyboard actions and center camera, I want you to enable those, the, that's, that's pretty important, it's very useful to have those unless you really want to play hard mode. And in this setting screen, from settings, this is your spawn seed. This is where you want to pick any letter or number combination to basically have a random spawn location somewhere on the map. And the map is filled with all other players as well, so while you play, there is a small chance you may come across other people's settlements or other players, though again, small chance because everybody is randomly spawned on the map within a 20,000, I think, tile radius. It's, it changes a lot. It was once only 10,000, I think. So I think it's 20 now. It changes a lot. So you can also enable your character's nakedness if you want and you can choose how your mouse looks here you can do your music and sound loudness i suggest turning the music down i keep mine off but if you're a new player it'll help you to know when you're um getting older but you can also just look at your character and what how they change as well, but it sometimes it's very subtle. And your sound loudness, you're you're gonna you're gonna want that down quite a bit, because this is pretty loud. And now so this is my spawn seed magic, all capitals, because it is case sensitive. So you put that in there, and when you go back to the main screen and you click login, you'll be spawned somewhere on the map randomly with that word combination. So if you put in what I put in, full capitals magic, you're going to spawn exactly where I will spawn. So now we're almost ready to log in, but before I do, you're going to want to also look at this here. Does almost everything, special actions, drop, remove, kill with shift, that's, that's not really important because this is two hours, one life, and killing other players doesn't happen and it's there's no weapon that can be used to kill so that don't even pay attention to it you're gonna if you shoot an animal you're just gonna use regular click but it also it's removing and dropping so if you're wanting to drop an object you're gonna right click if you want to pick it up or use it you're gonna want to left click that's something that newer players sometimes have issues with remembering and understanding especially when they're trying to cycle through baskets or their backpacks because cycling is right click using or putting away would be left click so remember that if you want to get something out of your backpack or your basket just right click cycle left click put back in so now that we have these enabled you'll be able to zoom your camera in and out You'll be able to use WASD moving. If you don't have those three settings enabled, you can only move with your mouse and you can only use stuff with your mouse and you can't, you're stuck in one position camera wise. So everything will be very, you won't be able to see as far. Your field of view is smaller, which is why I click those and why I suggest using them even if you are a new player. So. I have a spot picked out already that has everything starter-wise, though I haven't made any tools. So we're going to quick log in. 
I'm going to say no BB, and you should have heard a small, soft ding. That means you're infertile. You hover your mouse, and you look down here when you hover your mouse. You infertile. I want baby. Ding again, and I'm fertile now. But I'm going to go no baby, no kids, because it's just going to be you and me for right now. Now, I'm also going to name myself I am Uno. That means I am you, Eve Uno, infertile. No children. So right now, I am controlling how far I can see with my uh, arrow keys. You can also use your mouse wheel. I, I prefer arrow keys because I'm weird. So we're going to move over here into this green biome. You're going to want to choose a green biome, kind of big, with lots of milkweed. Lots of milkweed because you're going you're gonna to need the milkweed. You're also going to want to have a lot of food around. And you're also going to want this up here. Natural spring. This is the thing that you will always need in almost every civilization because it will give you the most water in the end. I just picked up a round rock. We're going to find this big hard rock. So this round rock goes on that to make a sharp stone. And it's going to cut down food. So I'm going to cut down a couple things of food. Because right now in this update, uh, eating is a little bit harder. So I'm holding now a berry. I haven't eaten a berry. It's yum. I'm going to want to eat it. Yum food in comparison to meh food is better. So wild onion. Yum down here. Eat it. Now it's meh for me. You're going to want to prioritize eating yum food. But when you're starting off and you're new like this, there's only so much you can do. So we have another one of these here. So we can choose to be here or we can be choose to be down more south. But right now I'm looking for these. So these are tule reeds, tule reeds, whatever. They're always in this purple biome here. You want to be careful in this purple biome, however, because this purple biome also has wild boars in it. And those wild boars will kill you. So right now I'm picking milkweed, combining milkweed, making thread, and I need more milkweed. You need four milkweed total to make a rope. I'm gonna go back down, here we go. So rope and the first thing I'm going to make all right first actually I'm gonna show you this you see my character's face when you do that it means you're 20 seconds from starving so keep that in mind it also means anybody else you see that with that is 20 seconds from starving so right now I'm going to do that put it on a basket add a rope and I'm gonna have a reed basket see so as you can see it's kind of difficult to manage your food even though I know the game pretty well myself that's why I'm making these videos and making another rope because you're gonna need a lot of rope in the beginning trust me 100% you will need the rope now I'm going to make so rope plus reed bundle makes a reed skirt and clothing wise you're gonna want as much clothing as possible because clothing helps you not be hungry as quick and also we're gonna go is there any apples because that's my craving right now and apples are good for your craving system right now so down here, craving apple. You're going to want to try and eat your cravings. Because your cravings give you more food in the end. Man. 
I don't think you even have any apples in this biome. Oh, that blows. Okay, we're going to make, so right now I'm making starter tools. Got that. So my strategy for when starting a new seed is always make all the fire making tools. And some people will say you'll want a snare, but in my opinion, the smartest thing to make first is a bow and arrow and kill and hunt geese. Because you can eat off a goose twice instead of once like a rabbit. And it gives a decent amount of food. So I'm thinking, hmm, I think we'll go here. Yeah, I think, I think this will be home. Now currently, again, with the food values, because they wanted to attempt to make it a bit more hard because a lot of players who are all pro were getting upset with how hard the game was, which game game is hard enough. It's just they, they've played for so long that they are pro. So right now, I am making the first few tools, so I don't know why I started making that part without talking about it. So here, okay. You're going to need a lot of these maple tree branches, so pick a lot of them, bring, bring them up to your little camp. I'm also going to show you a home marker so you don't get lost. You're going to want a sharp stone on a sapling. Pick your spot where you want to live. You're going to want a round stone then. And then you're going to come down, use it on the skewer. Okay, so. I have three rope, one of those, I'm going to need some flint. So sharp stone on a flint chunk. You're going to use your sharp stone once, twice on a branch, you're going to use that rope on that, and then I'm going to need another sharp stone, so we're going to do that on a hard rock. We're going to use it on the tied short shaft, and that gets you a hatchet to make branches. So I'm going to need another one of those. Yes, yes, I understand we're starving to death. We're going to bring this here, once, twice, rope, flint chip now, not sharp stone, that makes a small flint knife. Now we're going to use this on the small curved branch which you get on these Lombardi poplar, poplar trees. Sharp stone, rope, once, twice, and that's that starting tool, and this here. It's just a rope and a branch from this tree with use sharp stone. I'm just going to make that into that. So, and we're going to eat because, yes, we're oh so hungry. Now we're going to, um, we need another one of these skewers. So, skewer. And we need thread this time, not a rope, so we're gonna get some of this. This 
Now this part's going to be a little bit harder to understand, so I'm going to do it quickly and carefully. So you're going to want to find a Canadian goose palm pond where it's like this with no egg on it. Click it and it'll jump back into the pond, but it'll leave a feather that you take off. Now you're going to want to use your flint on it. You're going to use that on that. Then you're going to use a sharp stone on the flint. Add that to that and you get an arrowhead. <sighs> I know, we're starving to death. I understand that. However, I am trying to teach these people who are watching currently how to not die. Oh, there's an orange tree. Cool. We have a little bit of a yun chain, finally. I could also eat some beehive. That would be nice. But I also really want a freaking apple. That's not an apple, that's another orange. It's also another orange. Why are there so many? Oh, apple tree, apple tree, apple tree. Eat. Drilled coconut. I don't have that. Alright. What was I doing? I'm gonna make a rope. Alright. Head all the way back home. Okay, back home now. We're going to want another one of these here. So grab that, because yes, we're going to want it. We're going to also want another skewer. All right, so you're gonna wanna take your flint knife, your arrow, your bow, and we're gonna go shoot a couple of geese really quickly. So again, they're always in this purple biome, but be careful, there are boars in them, and if you're a new player, no, I don't suggest shooting a boar because some of the animals in this game will attack back. Geese and, um, turkeys and goats do not attack back, so those are fine to shoot to get food and such. <sighs> I forgot. Okay, we got two geese. So that means four things of food, and each bite fills your food bar about twice. So we're gonna quick make a fire, which you're going to need a leaf, which you can get off of almost any tree in the green biome. So there's a leaf, and we're going to go down here to this juniper tree. Click it, and you'll get some tinder. So to make a fire, you need a fire bow drill, this long straight shaft, leaf on it, touch the tinder, use this on here when it puffs up. And now we're going to wait, and we're going to go find a bunch of food, because we're dying again. I just munched a bunch of berries, and I hate myself for it. So while that's doing that, we're going to get a couple more geese. Some people might say that you won't be able to get eggs like this, however, I don't care. I rarely eat omelets. 
I eat like maybe one or two, and then some for cravings. So, yeah. Oh, there's a raccoon. Oh, okay. So the fire went out. Skewer. And that's how you cook a goose. And right now, I'm right clicking, right clicking again, right click, left click, left click, right click, right click. So that filled about, oh, uh, I guess closer to like one third my bar, half, one third, give or take. It fills you up enough that you can survive and start making a few things, more clothing, more tools, pretty much. So right now I'm going to, uh, this, this amount of food that I have would be enough for me to start trapping and snaring, but for another player who's newer, not so much. So I'm just gonna, Grab like two more really quick. Two more, and we're going to cook them and eat them. I'll show you another wild food that a lot of people actually don't really know about. Even some of the pro players don't ever remember it, which I find really, really funny. So I have my, that. So you're going to need this long straight shaft. And you see this right here, beehive. You're going to want to be really careful and you're going to want to stand on an item when you do this. Because the bees will attack you when you do this. But it's an edible food source and it's yum. So there, there you go, the bees are right there. But I just used my flint knife on it. So I have food. And these bees here would normally attack you, but they can't attack you if you stand on an item. Any item. A berry can save your life. It's kind of funny. And I ate it. And the bees are gone. So that that that's pro tip right there that even some of the pros forget about. Again, really funny. So now I'm going to... Um, Make a snare, which will help you start, which will, you know, it'll get, it'll get you more food. It'll start also helping you get some clothing items. So, yeah, I'm zooming in and out a lot. I just clicked maple tree for this branch. You're going to want to use your sharp stone on this one, two, three. You're going to want a rope, which, again, is from milkweed. And I'm going to um, make another basket just for more storage space. Again, basket is two tule reeds, which is in the tutorial. Yes, it's in the tutorial. So right now we're going to look for a yellow biome, which green, purple, yellow, gray. Remember that green, purple, yellow, gray. Because this is green, this is purple. Somewhere there should be yellow. Yellow would be over here, yes. See, green, purple, yellow, gray. That's how the biomes spawn, always. Green, purple, yellow, gray. And then we have special biomes hiding inside the gray. I picked a decent spot. Oh, and there's that. There's a turkey. I just heard the bunny being caught. There's more of that up there. There's that there. That wouldn't be a terrible spot either. Not the greatest, though. So... Remember we made that home marker before, that, that there will show you how to get back home. My Discord just beeped. So right now I'm catching rabbits. You don't really need more than one snare unless you are prone to losing or forgetting or you just have enough milkweed and don't really care. So I have enough food at home that I don't I don't really mind, but if you're a new player, I do suggest carrying food on you. I myself I I have like a thousand 
over a thousand hours in this game, I trust myself not to die. I can just run right back because I have my home marker. So these geese here will always spawn eggs after a while. So if they once they spawn eggs, you can make omelets, but we're technologically wise, however you say it, we're not we're not at that point. I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna eat a geese, a goose, whatever. However. So yeah. One goose will fill almost your entire bar. It is the food that I myself now recommend for the current food mechanics. Later when they balance it more. It'll be, it'll be, it'll be better. It'll be fine. Oh, I just pressed H. They don't have all of them in there yet. Yeah, there's more remotes. They didn't put them all in here. That's, that's blowing. And you close it with H again. So, while I'm waiting, I might as well tell you about some of the biomes. Um, purple biome will have geese and water, some trees. The trees, except for this one, don't really do anything. They just look nice. This biome will also have tule reeds, and it'll also have clay, which clay is used for pottery. Oh, there's some clay right there. Clay deposit. Again, pottery. And yellow biome has rabbits and seeds. So this here is a, I don't know how to pronounce it, it's down here in the bottom. It's how you get corn, this is obviously wheat. There's rice here, there's squash, there's beans, um, cabbage. No, cabbage is in gray biome, I think. Not 100%. Okay, so the first few... You yeah, have enough. You're gonna use your flint knife to skin these. You're gonna want five rabbits at first, because it'll help you get a better backpack than what I currently have. If you're a new player, I, I'm moving really fast in game. Like you're a new player, this is this stuff will take you a while to find, to learn how to do, repeat, die a few times probably. Cause that's that's perfectly fine. This game is really hard. I just have way too much time and I have no I have no life. So I'm going to make another fire. Again, you need a leaf. Juniper tree leaf can come from this tree, this tree, this tree, just about any tree except for that tree. Because you need tinder from that tree. So, I'm going to need kindling, uh, fire bow, leaf on tinder. Kindling. Wait. Puff up. Boom. Now, I didn't show this before with the geese, but if you have a rabbit and you try and do it on the fire, it will burn and it's not edible anymore. You can't, you can't get anything from it. All you can do is just toss it away or wait for it to despawn. So you need to wait for the fire to die before you use it for food, just remember that. Mm, there is almost no food except for some higher tech food that you can cook with a straight fire. It's considered a noob trap to kind of trip you up, because again, this game is very difficult. It's it, You're not going to understand it right from the get-go unless you play a lot of you play the tutorial a lot, and then you watch a lot of videos, and even then, you're likely to die once or twice, even if you're a really, really good, you're really good at games. So just don't, don't even mind it. So now we're going to use the skewer, and I'm just, click, 
right click, left click, left click, right click. So, where's my flint? Oh, I can also use the flint knife for this. But we're going to eat it, drop it, so we right click, right click again. Little tiny rabbit bone, and we're going to use the flint chip on it. Or, or the knife, I believe, and you'll have a bone needle, which then again, you need another thread. So we're going to get milkweed. There was one up there, but I don't care. We need two anyway, and there was a lot more down here. Uh, I could go back up and get that one that I saw, I guess, or I could just run back. There's one right there hiding... I want a couple. Should I make myself a jacket? I should just make myself a hat. Yeah, make myself a hat. And then get a wolf. Hmm. What do I have here? I have the snare. Hi, chicken. Going back up to the place, to my home, homeboy. So yeah, you're gonna you're gonna use a lot of milkweed. So again, look for a big green biome when you first spawn, or keep making up random letters and word combinations till you get spawned in a decently sized biome, because you need milkweed. So. On the bone needle and what I did before was I stacked four rabbit furs and I cut one of them to make this which you take one and you put on there and then you use that and that's a better backpack so there's that and I can make myself I can make myself a mouflon hide, that would be the easiest, but I really would like, I love the wolf shirt and hat, but no, we're going to be good. We're going to gonna do stuff for the newbies. So right now I'm going to go find a mouflon, which I found before. There was one up here that was just all alone. Did I, wait, I didn't bring my... I didn't bring my knife. Listen, it's like 6 in the morning for me and I work night shift. I've... I have a lot of coffee. Again, I just saw a boar up here. I do not suggest shooting it. Not as a new player. Not a good idea. I just saw it in the left. There's a turkey. Turkeys don't attack. But you can miss them. There's the mouflon. Hi. You can miss them too, but they don't attack. So it's fine if you hunt them as a new player. Now this is entirely RNG. Whether you hit them or not, so it might take you a little bit. Okay. And your arrow can break, but you can use a skewer, which is the home marker. So I just use the knife. And this... You can wear, which will give you more, uh, give your temperature up here because there's temperature meter. It will help with that because you see this little, uh, in the black thing in the middle, black sign, whatever, line, that's the word. I can speak again. Very early for me. I've had a lot of coffee. You want the arrow here as close to the middle as possible for as long as possible because that will make your food decrease slower. So I also cut it to get some pink meat which can be cooked, not on a fire unfortunately, in an oven. And you can cook for yum or make pies with. But right now we have a couple geese still and we're doing, doing, doing okay. Now, you can make more clothing with more rabbit furs. You can make shoes, you can make a shirt, you can make pants, you can make a hat. Other than the 
uh, backpack as well. So I'm going to show you how to make a oven and I guess a kiln as well. You can use a sharp stone flint or your flint knife for what I'm about to do. So I'm just going to grab the flint because that's what I got. Oh, there's the bore right there. We're going to need um some of these clay, which is in, again, in, in the purple biome, we're going to need the reed. We're going to add the reeds to the clay. There's more here. Fuck you. Go away. It's too early for this shit. Okay, three, four, five, that's enough for now. So you see my food, I'm doing better food-wise because now I have clothing and I have more food that gives me more value-wise. I can just eat twice off one goose and be fine. So right now I'm going to um, make an oven and a kiln. The kiln will make will help you make pottery. I can talk, I swear. And also, um, pottery and iron steel tools, not iron steel tools. Iron is what you use to get steel. Where's my round rock? I used it earlier to make a sharp rock. So I need another round rock. Where's my round? Where's a round boy? There's a round boy. So you're gonna need a round rock to do anything that I'm about to do. Okay, so I'm going to make the oven here first and then I'm going to make the kiln. Do I want to make the kiln right? <sighs> We're just doing a video. We're not. So I use the round rock on the adobe that we made earlier, which is from clay and reeds. Add it again, and then you got an oven, but I'm making a kiln, so we're going to add once more. And we have a kiln, which is used for pottery and steel tool making. We're going to use the round rock on it again to make an adobe base. We're going to make an oven, and the oven will be used to make pies and other baked goods like turkey and bread and geese, cookies. My brain's loading. I don't know what else you can make. I know there's other stuff. Flat bread. Whatever. Oh, bacon. Bacon is also used. I have that. We can make some plates first. However, uh, I'll make a couple plates. Why not? I'll show you how to do that. I can do that. Within, I'm going to do that within the time frame of one goose eating? I don't know. That's not anything that I needed. You're going to need another branch. going to need that again because I don't know where my sharp stone went because I'm kind of dumb. Very tired. going to use the sharp stone on the branch. We're going to use flint on it as well. We're going to make tongs. Okay, now we need clay. You're going to want pretty much as much clay as physically possible because when you're making food and variety wise you're gonna use up a lot of plates and bowls like a lot and when I mean a lot you're gonna want like in the end you're gonna easily want like 20 40 plates and bowls in the end but like when you're just starting off you're not gonna have a whole lot of time so if you just make like Five of each at first, that's fine. That's really fine. Heck, if you make less, that's entirely... That's up to you, man. I need more coffee. So I'm just spreading these all out so that they're not bunched up because then you can't make anything. And I'm 
gonna need to eat again. Okay, so now I have that. That'll be fine. You're gonna want a round rock on the clay without the reeds, just the normal clay. Once on there, we'll give you a bowl. Twice on there, we'll give you a plate. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna do the rest of the plates. Okay, now we're gonna need. I'm gonna need more branches. I'm gonna need two branches. Minimum. Or would be nice. Three total would actually be barely enough. So I'm gonna also wanna cook, but also I don't have enough time for more. I'm gonna put one there. I'm gonna put one there. We're gonna put you there. I'm gonna do that. We're gonna make a fire. Leaf, tinder, branch. So. Bow drill, leaf, on the branch, on the tinder, add you when it puffs up. Gonna make a fire brand, so you're gonna need that branch, which also remember it comes from a maple tree after using a sharp stone. We're gonna put it on the wood film adobe kiln, so make sure there's wood in it. Gonna right click wooden tongs, you're gonna pick up and gonna use on the kiln, and then you're gonna keep doing that, and you can stack them as you cook them, so don't forget that because you don't need to move as much when you do so. And we're stacking. And you can fit six on one stack. And I don't have any adobe to cover it, but I don't care because this is just an educational video for a newer player. And we're going to do that. And we're going to cook the mutton here because I want more yum because I hate having no yum. And then I'm going to possibly look for a rock and make an egg. To show you how to make an egg. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna go look for a flat rock which is always in the gray biome. Which the gray biome is over here where we killed the mouflon which we got the meat from. There should hopefully be there's a flat rock here. This is a flat rock. I'm gonna use that and we're also going to grab an egg on our way back and we're going to eat it for more yum. So remember if we kill all the geese, there will be no eggs spawning, so be mindful of that. Try and get other stuff set up before you just murder all the geese and eat them all right away. Because there's a lot of geese almost all the, all the time. I can talk, I swear. I'm gonna... So I have an egg, flat rock on the hot coals. Add the egg. You're gonna want to be fast and grab a plate. Because the egg... On here can burn and when it does I'll grab an egg and show actually it's like all the other food from before it can burn so put the egg you don't have a plate oh no what can you freaking do burnt you can use a weak skewer you can use any skewer and I'll take it off so there you go that is all the starter stuff. I can also show you, I guess, how to make, how to plant carrots, I guess. Um, if you want to do farming instead of the stuff that I just made. Um, I guess you have all these bowls. I could also show you a water pouch too. Sure. Sure. If you don't want to make bowls and plates right away like I did, I prefer doing that. You can also make a water pouch from a rabbit skin and I'll show you how to, how, how that works. I want I want my cola though. 
I've been talking for like 40 minutes and I don't normally talk this much. I can also show you how to make a pie with this, I guess. Do I have anything to cut? I do. So wheat. So we can eat the omelette really quick. Leave that there. That, I need the knife. I forget. It's easier flint knife on the rabbit to cut it. You're going to want to cut the fur. You're going to want bone needle on thread. And this will hold water and... water crops for you so we're going to move dirt and do that is that enough that'll be good I guess and then we're going to use a bowl to separate it because you can get more dirt cost wise this is more efficient you don't have to worry about it too much I'm just Picky, picky, picky. Okay, so you're gonna want to also grab your basket. And you're gonna want to look for these, these saplings. They can be used as hoes when you're first starting. You can also make a hoe using a rope, but if you don't have a whole lot of rope, this is better cost efficient wise. So I'm gonna grab two. Should be two. Should be fine. Do I have any onions nearby? An onion would be awesome. There's an onion. I'm gonna go all the way back home. Let's see. This breaks easily, but you're going to have a lot nearby, so we're going to plant the onion, and we're going to grab that, and we have this up here. So you can use, again, the fur pouch that I just made to water stuff, or you can also use the bowl. Um... Show you how to make that, or I could just show you seeds for now. I'll show you seeds for now. So most food seeds are in the yellow biome, but there's also one in almost every biome except for winter and uh, desert. Don't think there's anything seed-wise in there. Not food anyway. So again, this is for corn. So we're going to Grab two of those. What else? There's also there's rice, but we don't have the stuff needed for rice yet, so don't worry. Going to look around, see if there's any bean plants. Since we have a bowl. Not really. Jungle would be cool. My turkeys. Oh, there's carrot seeds. So this is a wild carrot. You click it for a seed, you use your sharp stone to knock it down and eat it. Alright, up here. Oh, looking good. That's desert, that's jungle. What do we got jungle-wise? Yes, we got some good shit in here. So you're going to want to be careful heading into the jungle because it's hot and there's mosquito swarms, which will make you sick. This is a wild tomato plant. You can get it, you can use it for seeds. There's also bananas, sugar, 
other stuff in this in this here. There's also these bananas here. I kind of just skip jump there. You can grab one, eat it for yum. You can't plant them though, unfortunately. Right now I'm looking for this here. So this is a wild pepper plant. The peppers are edible, but you can also use it as a seed and plant peppers. Tomatoes, peppers, and onions. Some carrots too. Not that much though. Well actually, yes, a lot in pies, but not much else. Those plants are used, well those foods are used in a lot of um a lot of cooking in game. So we're gonna head all the way home. And there's there's also coconuts you can eat too. You can drill a coconut and you can split it open to eat it. And those are two separate yums, by the way. And you drill a coconut by using a flint arrowhead on your bow knife. Bow, you drill bow. Bow drill, that's the word. Again, I've had a lot of coffee. It's very early for me. I want to go to bed. Almost home. I'm going to show you how to plant. All these really quick. I'm gonna need a couple bowls actually. I'm gonna need flint. Alright, you're gonna wanna get a bowl, put the wild tomato cluster in a bowl. You're gonna. Carrot seed will go down there, and we're gonna. These are the corn seeds. We're going to put the corn in these two here. Going to want to use flint chip on the wild pepper. We're going to start watering everything. Okay, so we planted and watered the onion before. You're going to grab it, replant it, because onions in the game have two phases. The first one just gives you a flower and you click it and you can get the seed and then you have to replant it to actually get onions. Onions. Click do that and we're gonna have our plant. So the reason why I'm showing you all of these is because all of these plants will be different yum for you. You'll have and they can make different foods feed animals, feed yourself, blah blah blah. I'm gonna want as much yum as physically possible. Now I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab that branch. So I'm gonna show you a basic pie, show you two basic pies actually. So again, you wanna use any spiny branch, so from the Lombardi or a maple tree. You're going to use it on the wheat that we harvested earlier from the yellow biome. You're going to use a bowl to pick it up. You're going to put that away because it's not that important. You can use a round rock on it to make flour, and then flour needs water, so we're going to grab Ziwata. going to use it on that to make crust and each bowl will make four, uh, four crusts, so I put the skinned rabbit in a bowl and I just use a flint knife, but you can also use your flint sharp stone, whatever. All berries just went on there. Yeah, my brain. I don't have any. So apples are the only fruit that can make a pie. So you can't get an orange or a lemon pie, unfortunately, which would be kind of cool. You can also make a carrot pie, but you need to put the carrot in the bowl and smash it up with a sharp stone flint or flint knife. You can also make a berry carrot pie, but again, smash it up. You can make a rabbit carrot berry pie. Berry rabbit pie. Carrot rabbit pie. 
other combinations that I'm probably not thinking of because it's way too early for me. And I'm, I'm only going to make that much because I don't care anymore. I'm tired. I just want to drink my soda and go to bed. Okay, now making a fire again. So tinder, leaf, you, Bodril, leaf on tinder with the kindling once it puffs up. You're not growing fast enough for my liking. Can also make popcorn from you. So once the fire dies is when you can cook. So don't be concerned about that. And there you go. That's the basics of the basic stuff. Now you have yum foods here and again. What I did before is I cut this with a flint and now it's edible. If you leave these alone and you don't harvest them, eventually they will turn into seeds, which you can store in a bowl or replant, but if you don't pick them fast enough, they will disappear. But you can also harvest these carrots to use to eat, to make pies, to feed animals as well, and corn is also to be used to make stews, to eat yourself, to make popcorn, to feed animals. Onions you can eat yourself, you can put into several soups into pie some pies only one pie actually and peppers you can use to eat to make a couple different foods and a condiment because you can make salsa with it why did i need the water i needed the water to for the tomato so once this has been in here for a while it ferments you add the water you take the water out now you have tomato seeds which there you go water. And once it starts growing, you're going to need to add a skewer to it so it can continue to grow. That's it. I'm tired. Good night.